Welcome back. Time for some coffee shop confessions. Are you addicted to stopping at your local coffee shop for a daily fix? Well, with the hot weather here, you may even be skipping the hot coffee and chilling out with a cold brew. Our next guests are here to say you can break that habit and start cold brewing right at home. I'm really excited about this. Cold Brew pages the new summer issue of Table Magazine. Uh, says there's no need to be intimidated and no barista training needed. You too can cold brew. Is that the slogan in the magazine? That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Sarah Walsh of Cafe de More is featured in the article. She's here to show us how to do it along with Table Magazine editor in chief Victoria Bradley. Thanks so much for being Thanks here. Thanks for having Thanks us. For having We've us. already been drinking all the coffee in here, so I'm glad you came up. <laughs> I am excited for this. Yeah. I can't stop at the coffee shop on my way to work because it's too early, but I'm in desperate need of a fix now. So let's let's learn how to do this. All right, great. So we're going to start by making you a little teaser here. Oh, yes. Um, so I'm mixing up some cold brew coffee concentrate and okay. some purified water for you to have a taste while we keep talking about it. Good, so I can get my fix while you guys right. make me more. Exactly. <laughs> I exactly. like that idea. Yeah. <laughs> so the, cool, the coolest thing about this, and this is why we called Sarah for this story, is that um, cold brew coffee is different from iced coffee. Iced coffee is you make a hot pot of coffee and then you pour it over ice and it's you know refreshing summer treat. Cold brew was never hot. That's so interesting. I know. Well, the other thing that you told me before we came to the segment was that there's little to no acidity in yes. cold brew. Yes. All right. So she's the expert. So you have to tell us. So yep. the, first of all, it's a whole process to make mm -hmm. it, but it's easy and you can actually do it at home. Right. Right. Um, so some of the things with hot coffee is that it pulls out a lot of um, the acidity that is hiding away in the coffee, we'll right. call it. Um, so with cold brew extraction, because you're adding cold water, um, it's more like a really slow, gentle extraction of the coffee, and then it is 67% less acidic. So. For, um, for folks who like maybe some of my customers who have some stomach problems, it'll be a really great opportunity to get back into coffee without having that same kind of reaction in our stomachs. Um, so this is the hot coffee. You should yeah. try the hot one. It's probably warm right now. Yeah. But try that and the difference, notice the difference between oh my that gosh. is yeah. like you have all of that wonderful coffee acidity, which I have to have cream in my coffee every day. Mm -hmm. I can't right. do it without the cream. But if you notice with the cold brew, it's none smooth, of it. Right. It's very mm -hmm. smooth. It's a little bit maybe nutty flavored. I love that. Yeah. And mm -hmm. yeah, so if you're maybe you're getting off dairy or you know, you just want to and you don't have to use the cream anymore. This right? is this is good. It's really all about good. the different flavors. So coffee fanatics go in cold brew. So how do you make this? If you have your regular coffee pot at home, how can you get away from the coffee pot to make the cold brew? Right. So you'd have to start with a different kind of container. Okay. Um, and uh, the two main ingredients just want to mention um, are definitely the coffee beans, which I kind of had those as a prop. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, um, and purified water. Okay. So you're, we're drinking mostly water here, so using purified water and right. not tap water is right. pretty valuable. Um, and so, as long as there's um, like a way to strain the ground, right. uh, the grounds from um, the water after a 12 to 14, maybe 16 hour brewing you do it time, overnight. you steep it um, overnight. Yeah. then you can do it in just about anything. That said, there are a few like contraptions. Right. Yes. <laughs> so. I actually, and this isn't even hard because I put, I put this together when we got here today. Yeah. But this is just, it shows you too on the inside. I don't know which camera we're on over here. This one. Oh, yep, right so over So there's here. that little filter down on the inside. Okay. And this is, this is the container that you would put the coffee beans in and the cold water at night. You know, let it steep overnight. And then I would pull this little Right? Am I doing this yes. right, Sarah? Okay, yes. she taught me. Pull the little cork out, put it over here, and it would drain out. Through and you the have night. that rich coffee. No, this is the so in it the steeps morning. overnight. In the morning, oh, that rich coffee out. flavor comes down in here, oh. and you've made this very artisan, you know, 12 hour cold so, extraction. So you're not using coffee grinds, you're using coffee beans? No, you still grind the coffee. Oh, you do? So, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. And, any one of, and it could be the coffee that you have in your house right now. Your favorite beans was really fun hanging out with Sarah at the mm -hmm. cafe and learning so my favorite coffee beans taste so different, hot and cold. Right. Mm -hmm. It was real. It's a really cool process. So for can sure. you guys tell me what the chocolate milk is all about? Yes, now? this they is our grand finale. Yes. Us. Okay. <clears throat> all right. So, so so it does come out as a concentrate. 
it with water or almond right. milk or ice. It's, you know, it's a little bit of a concentrated coffee flavor, but you can make a little ice. Oh, milk. and uh, did you want to try the concentrate? Just I'm to afraid see. I don't want to. Okay, this is just straight up concentrate. <laughs> oh, so that's why you want to mix it with water because it's going to be uh -huh. very bold. It's, really, yep. it's hardly palatable. Right. But if you do, can I can yeah, I do the honors do. here? Okay, so if you do it with a little bit of chocolate milk, then now you have an ice just mocha. Made a mocha. And you can, you know. Which you should probably try. I should, I think so. You should do the ice smoke, isn't that, and it's delicious. I love that, mm -hmm. I love that. This is all really neat, and I think some good tips here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really excited to try this at home. How much does a filtration system like that cost at home? Um, $40, and you'll find it for sale in a bunch of different independent okay. Uh, shops around the city. Okay, great. Well, thank you mm -hmm. so Thanks much for, for teaching us. us a thing yeah. or two about cold brew. You can read more about cold brewing along with other recipes and entertaining tips in the new summer issue of Table Magazine online and at newsstands now.